My name is Laura Magero. I'm the co-founder and CEO for Drop Access, and I'm leading the team that has developed Vaxibox. Vaxibox is a portable healthcare refrigerator that is ideal for transportation and storage of heat-sensitive medical items, such as vaccines. The design of Vaxibox has been inspired by my own personal experience as a mom. I live in a rural community. And um, when I had my child, I faced a bit of challenges trying to get her vaccinated because sometimes the vaccines were simply not available since there was no sufficient cold storage for vaccines. So if you look at how Vaxibox has been designed, you see that it incorporates um, all the gaps that are faced with vaccine inequities in rural communities in Kenya. So the fridge is portable. It can be mounted on a boat, a bicycle. It can be wheeled or even be placed on a donkey so that these heat-sensitive medical items can be transported as fast as possible to any community. But then also uh, being in the engineering and energy industry and learning the African landscape and the challenges that rural communities do face with uh, just cold storage in general uh, prompted us to be able to design this Vaxibox refrigerator. Vaxibox is a solar-powered fridge. The solution was, was highly guided by healthcare professionals. We had a lot of discussions with nurses and clinicians in uh, rural health, health facilities. They explained the problem that they were experiencing, and from that is where we fine-tuned our solution to what it is today. So we have a PCB that we designed ourselves that is installed inside the fridge. Then with that, we can be able to monitor the temperature inside the fridge. We can be able to monitor uh, the location where the fridge is. One of their biggest uh, challenges is reaching people in these remote communities. Uh, we've experienced this in one of the sites where we've taken Maximox in a Maasai Conservancy. We find that the culture there does not really encourage people to go to hospital. So the nurses actually have to carry the vaccines and the other medications and take them to the manyatas to look for these children, to look for the mothers and give them the vaccines. And that is not something that they can do with the traditional sort of vaccine refrigerator that is normally in health facilities.